Hi guys. I'm fucking out with you. Okay, I'm just sat out in the uh, uh, backyard. Um, evening time, just finished work. Uh, temperature's nice. We've been raining all day, so I thought I'd catch the last little bit of light. It's about 8 o'clock in the evening, so I've got to try and be quick so I don't lose all this light. Nice bit of sky behind me. <laughs> that makes a change. Right. The one I'm going to be reviewing is uh, sent to me by um, Johan from Sweden. It's from the Omnipolo Brewery. And it's an imperial stout brewed with natural flavours added. And it's called Noah, which is a pecan mud stout. With a nice smiley face on it. And I think this one comes in at 11%. Yeah. It's pretty standard for Omnipolo now, especially the stouts you sort of expect them to be about the 10 11 range or even more. Um, I've got two more of their beers to try as well. I'm really excited to try them, but because I'm working tomorrow, it's going to be um, just the one tonight. If I go a bit quiet out here, it's because probably because someone walks past and I'll get a little bit. <laughs> right, so anyway, there we go. That is pitch black in the glass, as you can see. Um, slightly tanned head, not much of a head on that. Um, got some nice alcohol legs, you can see that clinging to the glass. Let's give it a nose. Oh, wow. Serious business when I take my glasses off. Oh, wow, that is really chocolatey. That's almost like um, like a chocolate cake. Um, if you get like a, um, yeah, just like a really good quality chocolate cake, it's like, it smells like, um, the sponge. It's got that really sort of rich, sort of dark sm uh, smell to it. Nice and sweet as well. Not like, you know, not too roasty rich, more sweet rich. Um, yeah, you're definitely getting the nuts as well. Um, I've, I don't think I've really had pecans, but I'm getting a lot of like hazelnut. And walnut, that sort of smell. It's almost like a chocolatey, nutty cereal. You can smell a bit of alcohol in there, uh, giving it almost like a rum sort of edge. I'll tell you what, with Omnipolo, their beers, they just, they should, I'll tell you what Omnipolo need to do as a sideline. They need to make those Yankee candle things. Just make them out of, <laughs> that smell like their beers. Because I'd light them up in the house, I'll tell you, seriously. Right, let's give it a go. Cheers, Joanne. Cheers, guys. Oh, mm. That is really creamy. I can't believe that's 11%. That is really, really smooth. You're getting a little bit of alcohol at the end, but the main hit you're getting is like that chocolate sponge, which I mentioned. <clears throat> it's like having a big serving of chocolate cake, and then just munching on it, and you're getting the icing, you're getting the sponge, and it's all nice and rich and tasty. Um, hardly any alcohol burn until you get to the end. Then you get the aftertaste, you get the um, slight alcohol rumminess, followed by a nice roasted coffee. Um, not overly powerful, just nice and just nice and tasty. It's like if basically this is the equivalent of a slice of chocolate cake with a cup of coffee. That is what it is in a beer. And um, and Omnipolo are geniuses at doing that sort of stuff. Um, oh, it's so nice. I feel like just sitting out here now and just supping this all night. But I'm watching TV, so. Mmm. Yeah, it's nice, smooth carbonation as well, so there's nothing sort of, you know, grippy or sort of, you know, splintery. It's just nice and, mmm, glump, like a nice dollop of chocolate cream. Oh, that's really, really tasty. 10 out of 10, easily 10 out of 10. Um, I'm going to sit and enjoy the rest of that now, and... Um, and um, and I'm really looking forward to trying the other Omnipolos because I don't know they're going to be amazing. I'm really trying to sort of prolong these beers and sort of make them last. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching my big head reflected against the sky, and um, I'll see you again soon for an Urban Viking Hour review. Cheers.